The second and third hit of GT Goku's light auto combos have a few changes that mean it's potentially better as a setup tick throw option for him. You can cancel out of the second hit of light auto combo faster to go into the third hit, which is the tick throw, and the third attack has increased movement speed during it. Compare that to before when you had to let the entire second attack of light auto combo play out in order to go into the third. I suppose it's a cheeky little buff for him. 5M and 2M have had their recovery reduced. In the previous patch, they were both unsafe on block. 5M was negative 7. 2M was negative 6. The recovery for both moves has been reduced by 2 frames. So 5M is negative 5, and 2M is negative 4, meaning that these are safe stacker points for GT Goku, which greatly improves pressure. I can't remember if this is a reversion of a nerf that happened to the character after Bandai Namco decided that he needed to be gutted after his dominant reign in Season 2, or if his 5M and 2M were always on safe stacker normals. If you can remember in the comment section, do let me know. Like the rest of the cast, GT Goku can now gatling his jump special into his jump heavy. This combines nicely with the previous buff that allows him to jump cancel his jump heavy, so he's able to add in a couple extra hits during some of his air routes near the corner in particular. It is possible to link a jump heavy after his jump special in the mid screen, however comboing after that particular extension seems to give some difficulties. But perhaps I'm just missing some sort of link here. Reverse Kamehameha has been nerfed. In the previous version, it was a fully armored move that basically had real no counterplay to it outside of trying to super it or catch GT Goku in recovery. Because of this, GT Goku players would often just spam this move around to float away in neutral and make it so the opponent could not interact with them before. Check out the interaction here between the 2H and the previous patch. As you can see, GT Goku just didn't care. Now, GT Goku's body is considered an aerial attack, which means it is able to be anti-aired by any move with the property. This opens up some much needed counterplay to this move. Against any attack that doesn't have an anti-air property, it still has the armor. So now the opponent at least has an answer to this one, but GT Goku can still use this tool to be a little bit belligerent and neutral or attempt to camp out. However, against certain matchups, namely characters that have large reaching anti-air moves themselves, GT Goku will noticeably have a harder time. Part of me still thinks that the point of this particular buff in the previous patch was to open up opportunities for GT Goku to go for some potential reverse Kamehameha mix-ups from his pogo attacks without having to worry about the opponent mashing on them and invalidating them. I think they retained that property still, but now there is an answer against the move with the anti-air 2H. And additionally, a lot of situations you can still frame trap into the reverse Kamehameha and beat 2Hs as well. So... Overall, I'm not entirely sure why they did this change to the move before, but the outcome of it certainly wasn't abandoning Namco's liking as it led to very uninteresting gameplay for the character. GT Goku can now run through the opponent with his Kamehameha. It seems a little silly, which I think is appropriate since the character is supposed to represent and reference the original Dragon Ball series as well as the sequel anime series Dragon Ball GT. Outside of that homage, I really don't see much utility for this particular move. Maybe there's like a CX6 extension where you're able to just run through the opponent now and then launch him into a Kamehameha, but that feels a little suboptimal, especially considering that GT Goku already has decent sideswap routes within his kit that are admittedly a little tricky to do. Additionally, if you're thinking about using this as a mix-up tool, in order for GT to turn around and face the opponent, he has to start moving in the other direction. And after that, there seems to be a little bit of an unwinding time as you release the input, so... At best, it's a really slow cross-up that is definitely reactable to the opponent, so I'm not too sure about the practical application for this. Like many other C assists, GT Goku also has received some buffs. The startup has been reduced, and the character now spawns in a different location. Let's take a look at the old behavior. It was 45 frames startup, and GT Goku spawned right next to the opponent, despite wielding the Neon Bow and extending it. This basically meant that it was possible for GT Goku to get jab-checked on reaction to the assist call. Now the startup is 40 frames, so 5 frames faster, which has been a pretty common buff for many C assists that had the old properties before. In addition to that, GT Goku now spawns pretty far away from the opponent, taking full advantage of the Neonba. 
Because of that, the opponent is now no longer able to just mash out a jab, or at least a short-range jab, to beat out this assist call. In terms of high-level play, I don't think we'll see any GT Goku players experiment with the C assist, though, as he still has a phenomenal neutral A assist that he can use, as well as a fast B assist that has plenty of lockdown for the character to have. It's also projectile property, so it's able to clash with other beam-style assists. Considering the power of his two regular assists that have a shorter cooldown, I don't think anyone seriously is going to be playing with C-Assist GT Goku. Outside of some top-level players experimenting with GT Goku in bracket, namely to troll with reverse Kamehameha camping, we really didn't see too much of the character in competitive play in the previous patch, and I do expect the same going forward. It's nice to see how well Bandai actually handled nerfing reverse Kamehameha to preserve some of its tool as a ignorant neutral tool option while giving it clear counterplay that also has some impact and different influences in how some of his matchup spread is going to play out based on what characters have anti-air moves within the air itself. He does appreciate some of the changes. It is weird that for a character with an auto combo uh, tick throw on his third attack, that he didn't get the same change that other characters have where he can simply hold forward and get the auto combo throw within his block strings. Instead, he has to space it out and cut his second attack short in order to get that situation set up. I'm not sure why Bandai chose to not give that to GT Goku, because I think it would have been at least a little bit of something to help the character have a little bit more of a solo mix-up opportunity, since he does struggle with some of his left-right mix-ups outside of going for pole shenanigans. He does appreciate his standing and crouching medium having reduced recovery so that they're now safe on block as it means he's able to actually threaten safe staggers and take his turn over and over again, potentially making the opponent a little antsy on defense. Outside of that, he's very much the same character before, and he's a character that really, I think, has tools that don't suit the current meta with full screen normals. He does have the Neonbo, of course, but that's the Neonbo. It's a smash launching special starter move, not a, you know, trunks full screen sliding 2M that hits in 18 frames. A little bit different, I think. We'll see if anyone wants to do anything with this character, but I think that a lot of people are still happy that the rat, after his reign over Season 2, is a ghost of his former self.